YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back with week eight college football picks. Doing this video every single week. A lot of good games this week. A lot of a lot of tough ones to pick. Last week, really enjoyed last week's uh, college football lineup. You know, finally multiple good games. And, uh, you know, it lived up to expectations, and there's some good games this week. So we're starting to get into the, the good part of the college football season here. No more of that, uh, you know, cakewalk schedule, cakewalk opponents for some of these, uh, you know, top-tier teams. Uh, before we get started, we have a 40K subscriber goal here, so please help us out by subscribing to our channel. Full NFL and college football content all year long. Go ahead and click the like button. Check us out on Patreon, link in the description there. You get a lot more content there. But to the picks, take a look at the, the Goat House group first, see who is in first. We got Rock Bama. He was on top last week. Same person at, at the top, I believe. Uh, it was tight before. I got a five-point lead. Uh, so that's pretty impressive, pretty impressive there. Let's go to the picks here. Um, first, we'll make the picks, then we'll put them in order by the confidence, uh, Florida and South Carolina. South Carolina, very impressive, mainly the defense, uh, very impressive uh, against the Georgia Bulldogs last week. Maybe they can slow down Florida's offense a little bit, but I, I still like the Gators in that one, even though they're away. Still like them. Iowa State and Texas Tech. Texas Tech 3-3, three and three, but like always, Texas Tech can score. Iowa State more of the defensive Big 12 team. I got to go with Iowa State. Texas Tech put up a fight with uh, Baylor. Actually went to a couple overtimes there. Uh, but I like Iowa State, but that's kind of a tough one in Texas Tech. But I like Iowa State in that one. Clemson at Louisville. Louisville, you know, they're pretty impressive this year on the offense side of the ball. I mean, they could score some points, but they haven't played a team like Clemson yet. I'm going to take, even though they did play Notre Dame and played them pretty well too, I'm going to take Clemson uh, in that one. Oregon and Washington, probably the toughest game to pick this week. Number 12 versus number 25. I think both teams are, I don't think both teams should be ranked much better than that, but in terms of their talent and, you know, take away the record, I think both those teams are much better than their rank. Oregon is, you know, I mean, look at their recruiting classes every year. They're, they're filled with talent. And then Washington, uh, same same thing. Both sides of the ball, pretty solid. You know, Eason's one of the better quarterbacks right now in the country. Um, you know, I mean, there's a handful of guys, but I mean, he's playing, he's pretty impressive. Uh, and they're home in this game. You know, I've I've said it a bunch of times for Oregon. You know, this team's super talented. It's just they get conservative. I don't like their play calls, design sometimes. Um, they'll have a lead in this one. They'll probably blow a lead. Will they blow it completely, let Washington win? I'm going to pick Oregon just because I think they have overall more talents. Uh, but both very talented teams. But I can see Oregon doing that once again, you know. Every time they play these good teams, looks like they outplay them, look like they got a lead, and they blow it. You know, I, this sounds probably the same exact thing I was saying before the Auburn game. I picked Oregon because they had overall more talent, looked like they outplayed them, they blew it at the end because they didn't let Herbert play his game, throw down field. I like Oregon, but that that's a tough one to pick there, especially being in Washington. LSU over Mississippi State. Joe Burrow for Heisman. I mean, the guy's incredible right now. Um, Mississippi State won't be it won't be a problem for them. Baylor and Oklahoma State, another tough one. Baylor's undefeated, looking super impressive. Can play pretty well on both sides of the ball. Oklahoma State mainly an offensive team, Big 12 team, like usual. A couple young players, and they'll continue to get better. Uh, I'm going to pick Oklahoma State in this one. I know it's 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 a toss-up here. Uh, if it was in Baylor, I'd pick Baylor. I'm, I'm going to take Oklahoma State, kind of just a feeling, but Baylor's feeling it right now. Uh, another tough one. Look at these Pac-12 games, Oregon, Washington, Arizona State, and Utah. Uh, and I love this matchup because they are, I mean, that that's an even matchup. You know, they're both, you know, don't have crazy offenses. They got some playmakers. They can put up some points, uh, but then pretty darn good defenses for some pack, for some Pac-12 teams there. Uh, but really balanced. You know, I, I'd call them balanced Pac-12 teams for the most part. Uh, and that's why it's a good game. That's why it's a good game. Still surprised by both these teams' losses, uh, but... Mainly Utah's. Utah being at home, and I think they have the better playmakers, even though it's close. I'm going to pick Utah. Um, you know, Moss is one of the more exciting players in the country. Definitely one of the better running backs in the country when healthy. I'm going to take. I'm going to take the Utes here. That's going to be a good game, though. Tulane and Memphis, another tough one to pick. Um, yeah, Tulane super impressive. Only loss being Auburn. Memphis was undefeated. A tough loss. The to Temple was in Temple. Uh, yeah, I, I think home field advantage is the. Is the 
the reason I got to take Memphis. I mean, it's a t- another toss up game. Uh, I mean, man, I almost want to go Tulane too. I mean, that team looks real good. Um, I'm going Memphis just because they're home. That's really the deciding factor. And Michigan, Penn State, another one of those. I think Penn State being home is the difference. I think a little more, um, not a little more, uh, you know, a lot better on offense, even though I don't expect a bunch of offense in this one. Penn State having the better playmakers, more of the edge on offense, gets this one done. I wish the game was in Michigan because I still think it would be a good game. But if it was in Michigan, I think that would be a very, very tight game, but still a good game. Uh, and then Boise and BYU's Boise State team looks pretty darn good. BYU, the record shows two and four. You know, I think they're better than that. Uh, credit to them for their, uh, you know, tough schedule. But that's that's rough. Uh, I'll take Boise. And then score prediction for Michigan and Penn State. Um, we're gonna have Michigan scoring 17. We'll have Penn State scoring. Yeah, I still think it could be close. Um, a little more. Mm, 21, 23, that range. We'll go, we'll go 21. I think I'll still think it'll be close there. Uh, Penn State wins it. Let's just, uh, order the confidence here. I think I'm going to put that Memphis and Tulane game. I thought I was going to put Oregon and Washington at one, but I'm going to put them at two. I'm going to put Baylor and Oklahoma State at three. I mean, that looks like a one confidence game too. So, I mean, that's... Rough week. I know we'll move that one below Florida. Clemson, Louisville will be ahead of Florida. LSU will be ahead of Clemson. Oh, this game's got to go way down too. Uh, Arizona State and Utah. We're gonna put it. Gonna put it here. Yeah, it's, it looks like another one of those one confidence games, and I, I got to put it at four. Um, that's what makes this this so interesting here. Uh, Michigan and Penn State. So we got to put this one down, but a little more confident. Penn State winning than some of those other tight games. Dude, that's comparing it to Iowa State and Texas Tech. That's tough. Um, we're going to put it there. And then Boise should be BYU, but we'll move it down to around here to eight. So I'm going to submit that. Let's see if they left out any good games um, from this. Sometimes they do. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the lines in these top games too. Uh, that is this past week. We're going to week eight. Ohio State Northwestern plays Friday. That's weird. That game's on Friday. Very weird. 28 and a half. Man, that's that's tough. And Northwestern's got a pretty solid D. I mean, Ohio State, it, I, mean, I think they'll win by more than that, really. But it's a lot of points. Clemson and Louisville. Man, I don't know if they win by 25. Yeah, they could do it. Um, yeah, now that I say that, you know, now I think about it. Louisville's all offense, but they're not going to be able to run it up on Clemson. Clemson should be able to run it up, no problem on Louisville, uh, and West Virginia, Oklahoma. Probably less than thirty-three and a half, but pretty close. I hate these big, big spread games, but Oklahoma, real deal. West Virginia struggling a little bit this year, but they lost some key players. Wisconsin, Illinois, Illinois is just a train wreck. Um, won't score many points on Wisconsin. Talked about these games. Arkansas is a sleeper team. They're actually starting to pick it up a little bit, but I still like Auburn in that game. I don't know if they win by. I don't think they win by that many points. Though. I don't know if they have enough offense to win by that many points, but pretty close, fourteen to seventeen points probably. Uh, Purdue and Iowa, uh, p- probably closer than that. I-, I think closer than people think. Uh, but Iowa's gonna get the win. LSU. Uh, I think LSU will win by more than that. That uh, we saw Tennessee handle Mississippi State. Um, LSU should win big, nineteen and a half. That's interesting. I know Mississippi State's. And they lost a lot. They got a solid defense. They lost a lot on defense. I'm surprised it's not in the 20s there. That's that's interesting. Oregon and Washington. Oregon minus three. I wouldn't touch that one. Temple and SMU. SMU minus seven and a half. I man, I would think about that one. I think Temple can win that game in SMU. That's the difference. I think Temple can win that game. And I'm getting seven and a half points. That's very interesting. Um, definitely look out for Temple in that one. Minnesota all over Rutgers. It's a free Big Ten win. Cincinnati. Over Tulsa, I don't know if they went by. Yeah, they could. Navy handled Tulsa pretty well. Appalachian State should be fine in that one. Baylor, Oklahoma State's favored, so I wasn't being bold by taking Oklahoma State there. Uh, Oklahoma State being favored over Bama. Uh, Vanderbilt, I you know, very disappointed. I expect a lot more from that team this year. They they have talent. They got to go with a coaching change. Uh, Missouri. Look, starting to look pretty impressive. They could win by, yeah, that's tough, I'd say around 20-21 there. Kentucky and Georgia, I think Georgia bounces back for sure in this one. 
Um, Utah, and I, Utah minus 14, that's a lot of points. I, they're not going to win by that many points. I'm surprised by that one. I, I, I'm pretty confident they win the game, even though it's pretty close. Um, but you know, 14, that's a lot. Texas over Kansas all day. Penn State's minus 9. Yeah, that's pretty tight, too. If that changes to 10, I'd be way more confident with that one. Alabama all over Tennessee in that one. May win by more than 35. Yeah, right around there, maybe 38. Uh, that's, I hate those huge spread games, though. And then Boise, BYU, no spread here yet. Um, Boise really took it to Hawaii. I thought that would be a lot closer. I, I picked Hawaii for fun on that one, but I thought it would be a lot closer uh, in that one. So Boise getting pretty good. That's going to do it for this one, though. We're back every single week. We also have college football rankings I do already on the channel for this week. I have NFL power rankings, NFL recaps, predictions, score predictions. We got you covered here at the Goat House. Please subscribe. Help us reach that goal. Check out our Patreon. A lot of extra content in there, including weekly updated NFL mock drafts, updated order and prospects. So check that out. Link in the description. Thanks, everyone, for watching. That's going to do it for this one. Goodbye.